Hi, I'll be there in a minute. Hang on. Trying to get something done here. I messed up. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, hang on a second. Got another camera to get going here. <clears throat> well, hey everybody. Um, I'm Johnny Cash, except I'm not wearing a black shirt. I hope everybody is okay today. I'm hanging out in my studio this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Austin, Texas. And uh, I was just writing a song. I don't have it done yet. play for you because I don't want to drive everybody away. Um, I'm Eric Rhodes from Fine Art Connoisseur and Plein Air Magazine. We are live on Facebook, Instagram, and and uh, YouTube. And uh, we've got a lot going on today. i got a lot to talk about and a lot of prizes. Uh, so and today I'm going to talk about how to get press because I get that question all the time from, from artists. How do I get press? Uh, how do I get uh, some coverage for my business? And so I'm going to talk about that because I'm in the press business. I produce uh, Fine Art Connoisseur Magazine, Plein Air Magazine, Fine Art Today, Realism Today, Plein Air Today, and American Watercolor. Also produce the Plein Air Convention and the Figurative Art Convention and lots and lots of other stuff. Lots of videos, over 450 videos and, uh, and more. A couple books. So I'll tell you a little bit about how to get press, because this is something I know how to do. I don't know a lot about a lot of things, but that's something I know a lot about. Uh, today also is a big day because, well, really tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow, tune in. Make sure you're tuning in tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to be giving away the uh, almost $3,000 painting by artist Joseph Begirl. This is your last chance, midnight tonight, Pacific time is your, uh, oh, wait, wait a minute, no, that's, that's not true. Today's the 30th. Okay, tomorrow, midnight, 30. Tomorrow we're not giving it away. The first we're giving it away. So you've got until uh, midnight on um, the 31st at Pacific time to get in your entry for the Joe McGurl painting. And uh, so you want to make sure that you uh, get that. Um, today we've got some great video for you today. We're starting in a little bit early on our repeats. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. First off, uh, one of the people who's been heavily involved in putting uh, eight to ten hours a day in this had to have some unexpected surgery yesterday and as a result we had to go to uh, repeats because we didn't have time to produce anything new but uh, we have day uh, we have 65 days of content that that our team has produced for you and so uh, today we're gonna play you uh, we're gonna do repeats now at two different time slots uh, because we want to make sure that people in the West Coast get a good time slot uh, because otherwise you're having to watch at an earlier time. And also, uh, we've been hearing from people all over the world. As a matter of fact, if you're from somewhere in Europe or Asia or Australia, Japan, Russia, uh, say hi now, leave a you know thumbs up or hi. We're hearing from lots of you, Egypt, Saudi Arabia. And uh, we're going to put on a 9 p.m. broadcast for the rest of the world so that then maybe that'll be a little bit easier for some of you to see. Probably should do one at 3 a.m. too. But for now, we're going to do one at 3 p.m. and at 9 p.m. And we're going to do something different at 3 and something different at 9. Today at 3, we've got Light Motion and Drama with Nancy Boren. And uh, that is a terrific video. I think you're really going to like that. And tonight at 9 p.m., we have Thomas Schaller, and that's the power of design. And he's teaching watercolor, but there's a lot of great stuff on design. Thomas, as you may or may not know, is an architect, and uh, he knows a lot about design and, and design and paintings. His paintings are beautifully designed, so you watch that at 9 p.m. Of course, any of you can watch the replays at any time. 
should also mention to you that the replays, we have got 65, 66 days of replays now uh, available, and all of those are going to disappear. Uh, we, of course, normally sell this content. Uh, we're not giving the full video, but we're giving you valuable samples. And they're all going to disappear at some point because we have, have got to get back to it. But uh, we are going to keep them up for probably about 30 days more. And the way to get them is to go to YouTube and go to Streamline Art Video on YouTube and make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's a subscribe button. Just uh, Streamline Art Video and hit subscribe and and we will make sure that that content is still available uh, and <clears throat> you can you can look at it for at least the next 30 days and that way you can catch up now most of you are starting to get into some kind of a mode of getting back to work getting out a lot of you still work from home and so uh, and a lot of us are just kind of staying around I had yesterday an interesting experience my daughter had a graduation party a self-distancing graduation party. So I did a graduation photo for she and her girlfriends and they were all six feet apart and uh, they all had their graduation gowns on and they were sitting around the campfire here in the backyard and they were all six feet apart and they had their masks on. And, and uh, But at least they got to reconnect because they hadn't got to see each other a lot because of the cor coronavirus. So we're all looking for ways to reconnect with people. Um, I, I want to give a moment of silence uh, for Michael Del Piore. Michael is a great portrait painter, uh, has studied under uh, Kinsler and studied under John Howard Sandin. And Michael had some health issues. I won't get into them. They were not COVID related and passed away either yesterday or the day before. And uh, our hearts go out to his family, his wife, and uh, what, a, what a brilliant man he was. As a matter of fact, I have some drawings here. I, don't, I can't get them out right now, but I have some drawings that Michael did for me. Michael had studied uh, art studio design and had gone through and done drawings of some of the great studios of, of the artist, and he shared those with me. I was talking about building a studio here. I have this little, uh, basically it's a pool, a pool house. <clears throat> we, the, the people who owned the property before us never built the pool. And uh, <clears throat> so I was going to put in a big window and, and or build a studio, but of course, time and money hasn't allowed that. But I still have his drawings, and I cherish those. And at the time he gave them to me, which is probably nine or ten years ago, he was going to build his ultimate studio, and it's something he got done in his life. And I would just like to encourage, uh, I, I certainly don't want to meddle in anybody's life, but you know, when we have a great artist like that, <clears throat> you know, he's done great portraits, he was a portrait commission artist. We have a great artist like that. We need to remember that great artist. And I think he's in the Nashville area. And wouldn't it be great if somehow his home studio could be turned into a museum? <clears throat> I'm, sh <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of work. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of work that would be available. <clears throat> And uh, <clears throat> so wouldn't that be cool? Maybe you folks in Nashville can figure out how to do that and work with his, his wife. This is not the time. Give it some breathing space. Uh, there's, right now there's grieving time. <clears throat> I'd like to also offer a moment of silence. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to ha offer a moment of coughing. <clears throat> I'd like to also offer a moment of silence um, uh, just because of what's going on across America, it's uh, it's a devastating time. Uh, I don't ever get into political comments or commentary about those kinds of things, but it is certainly do a moment of silence um, for a lot of reasons. Um, okay, so today at 3, Light Motion and Drama with Nancy Bourne, and at 9 p.m., Thomas Schaller. You can watch either or both. Uh, and I'm here every day at 12 noon on Streamline Art Video uh, on YouTube and on Facebook and also on my personal Facebook page, Eric Rhodes, and on uh, Instagram on Eric Rhodes. And sometimes we rebroadcast uh, the other things on Instagram as well. So uh, today I want to tell you a couple other things that are happening uh, and just as reminders, and then I'm going to get into uh, the winners and then how to get press. First thing I want to tell you is that... Um, 
the painting giveaway. This is the address, paintinggiveaway.com. If you have viewed any of our videos over the last 69 days, 66 days, if you have um, enjoyed any of it, we want to reward you by giving away a painting. This is a $3,000 painting, not quite $3,000, uh, by uh, the amazing artist Joseph McGurl. It's a beautiful painting. You can see it there. Uh, go and register to win it uh, and, and get there before the end of the 31st at midnight. Secondarily, um, on the 31st, the plein air convention uh, price goes up a couple hundred bucks. And, and we have a guarantee so that if you decide you can't come or you decide it's not safe or we decide it's not safe or we decide we have to reschedule, we have a guarantee. And uh, that guarantee is that you get your money back or you can apply it to the rescheduled date or a future event or products or otherwise. But you get your money back. Remember, if you want 100% of your money back, you get that. So you just go to plenairconvention.com. Plenairconvention.com. It's August 11th through 15th in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's a beautiful time in Santa Fe. Not too hot because it is a higher altitude. And so that's the peak seasons for Santa Fe. So we're going, and uh, uh, we are not going to do anything to hurt anybody. Uh, we're going to follow all the rules, and if we're not allowed, we won't do it. Uh, we have been criticized. I openly criticized someone, sent a letter to our faculty members and said, don't go, you're going to bring people into our town and pollute our town. And we do not intend to do that. We do not intend to cause any problems. We intend to follow all the rules and we don't want to hurt anybody. So please know that that's not our intent. And, but at some point, you know, if people say it's safe, we have to get back to life as normal. Otherwise, you know, businesses are going to crumble, including my own. This is not just about my business. This is about all of us. You know, we're getting together celebrating plein air painting. I should also mention that plein air salon ends on the 31st. And if you want to enter, and you don't have to have fresh paintings. Some, some competitions say they've got to be brand new paintings or within a year old. They could be any age and uh, because the judges like different things and you need to be highlighting your artwork. And it's an opportunity to win something so that you have a chance to put it on your resume. And also there's a $15,000 grand prize and the cover of Plein Air Magazine. I have a cover of Plein Air Magazine around here somewhere, but I don't... Uh, I don't need to get it right now. So, here we go. <laughs> My chair is hung up. So, uh, also, um, okay, so we have a bunch of prizes today. Uh, yesterday, I just went nuts. I was crazy. I don't know what I was thinking, but I have a lot of prizes. And um, so, first is value specs. Uh, value specs help you see values. You don't have to now hold up a piece of red plastic in front of your eyes to see values uh, or red plexiglass. We have these specs. You put them on when you're painting in your values and then you take them off, then you check them and you take them off. And they really changed my painting ability. So the winner of this value specs today is Wanda Foss from Norway. Thumbs up for Wanda Foss from Norway. All right. Uh, next, we gave away uh, my grayscale palette, my value palette. And this is uh, made out of plexiglass, and you can mix your colors and lay them into the right value. It's a really helpful if you're learning to paint. And uh, we sell these on, in our store at, at our various websites. And uh, so this goes to Mary Fricka. I think it's Mary Fricka in New York. Mary Fricka. Thumbs up for Mary Fricka. All right. Next. Let's see. you got to find a place to lay things down. Next is I announced I'm going to give away a DVD of your choice, any, any size. You know, some of them are really long and they cost more money. And this goes to Chris Griffin Woods in Arizona. Now, I happen to know Chris Griffin Woods, and I know she's from Indiana, so I don't know what the Arizona thing is, but I don't pick these. Christina and my team picks these. So congrats, thumbs up to Chris Griffin Wood. You can pick any, any DVD we've ever produced, and uh, we will give you that as our gift. And then last but not least, the plein air apron, the handy-dandy plein air apron. It's got nice deep pockets, and it's adjustable, which most aprons are not. This one's adjustable, and it's made out of blue jean material. And uh, I got a little paint on this one, but not a lot. Um, 
Anyway, these are nice to have. And the winner of this is Roberta Schwander. Roberta Schwander in Illinois. So thumbs up for Roberta. All right, Roberta. So um, I'll be asking questions in a minute about what prize I should, I should do. So uh, don't let me forget that. I want to talk about two things. Um, one thing I intended to talk about and one thing I just, is ran I just decided to randomly talk about. So I was talking a couple of days ago and I got a call from a friend of mine who uh, is deciding to get out of the art gallery business. And I was really disturbed by that and, and, and because this is somebody who's passionate and working hard and I said, why are you getting out of the business? And she said, well, um, it's the artist. And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, here's what's happening. She said, somebody will come into the gallery or they'll visit the gallery website and then they'll Google the artist and then they'll go direct to the artist and they'll say, hey, I saw that painting on the gallery website. I want to buy it. Then the artist will sell it to them, call the gallery for some reason to get it back, not tell them the truth and keep 100% of the money. Now, that gallery exposed that, uh, and the artist essentially is violating their agreement. Now, 